One, two, three. 16. Tips for networking in Orange County like, like a boss. boss. Today we have Mr. Michael Kish. Hi guys. Uh, one of my good friends and business associates of Orange County. And we also have Mr. Addison, who is shadowing us, talking uh, for her business and entrepreneurship class. Mr. Kish here has uh, come to help film this video. We are going to talk about networking in Orange County for business purposes, most importantly, young entrepreneurs, old entrepreneurs as well, medium size, <laughs> yes. medium age, all different types of entrepreneurs. All right, I'm gonna let you take number one. What's uh, your top tip? Or uh, we'll start. We'll start at 16 and go to one. We we'll go okay. backwards today. So my top tip would basically be for marketing, you have to really get yourself out there. You have to come up with something, whether it's flyers, um, you gotta get yourself out there to get more clientele in. You gotta, you gotta, you know, Instagram's great, Facebook's great, having a website's key. Mm. Um, but we you know really, who does those too. Yeah. We know I mean, who does among those. Other, among <laughs> other things. Yeah. <laughs> Love um, us on the totem pole. You can go, you can go, you can go. Oh, no. I got investors in you. <laughs> big event next week. My big uh, Balboa Bay party event. Okay, so that was, that was tip one. Anything else to add on to tip one? Well, I would just say marketing is the key to any business, really. It just, it just really is. And the way that you do marketing is there's just so many different kinds of ways. But um, again, I mean, I can't explain enough how valuable. I think Instagram alone was just made for business and uh, things that you post, creating you know, certain content to get yourself out there, like branding yourself or your product or whatever it is. Okay, well I'll leave that into two. Networking is definitely a people game. Um, your people game has to be very strong because ultimately the deals are closed by people, not uh, robots. I mean, you can have e-commerce, but a person still has to fill it fill out on that Instagram level. I guess we'll go into hashtagging for networking purposes. Sure. I mean, I've, I've uh, copied down hundreds of different hashtags that I'm going to use from, you know, millionaire to millionaires, millionaire motivation, millionaire, you know, money. So from millionaire to billionaire stuff, startups, you know, business types of uh, keywords. And uh, a good way to actually find those is when you're on Instagram, um, when you're searching, you can put tag and just put like the beginning of the root of the word, like millionaire. And then it'll show you like millionaire's club, you know, millionaire investments, millionaire tour. And it gives you ideas of ways to, uh, to you know, ask, you know, uh, all very consistently hashtag those things. So you're picking up those kind of people that you want to network with. You know, this isn't all just about, uh, you know, networking in person, even though this is about technically we're networking in Orange County. But a lot of OC people love those, those uh, kind of luxury hashtags. Yeah, they really do. And I think another thing that reminded me of those hashtags is just, is really any way that you can get it out there. You know, if you have a watch brand that you're trying to get out there, hashtag luxury watch, you know? Like, backlinks are huge. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good thing for marketing. You can go on to certain blogs and stuff like that and post your website on there and more people could view it. Those are called backlinks, which is part of marketing as well. So we can, yeah, we can get into all that, I guess. We're, we're still on two? We're still on tip two with that? Yeah, I think we, we can throw we, that all into two. We, we'll, we'll, we'll throw that all into, okay, well, you know, and, and networking doesn't always have to be you. So speaking of hashtagging and backlinking, you know, uh, I hire people from around the world to actually, you know, post blogs and backlinks on behalf of my companies or my clients, you know, to help generate or, or make sure they're using those hashtags as well. Right. So they're generating potential leads and inflows of traffic and clientele investors to myself um, without me doing the work. So while I'm sleeping, people around the world are working. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So tip numero tres. So what, what? I mean, what would you say is the is the most important key to marketing in general? Well, it's also about networking in OC. So well, marketing you know, and networking, but marketing and okay, okay, okay. yeah, getting yourself out there. Well, this is tip three, so this one's yours. But okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll co-join his tip three easily. Let's gang up on it. Gang up. Switch gang, switch gang. Um, so I would say being in the right place at the right time. So yeah. not to self-promote, but come on guys, you're on my channel, so you know I gotta self-promote a little bit. Um, for example, I mean, I'm hosting an event next week uh, on behalf of my company, Global Capital Network, with about 120 plus investors from around here. Huge. Yeah, 
So we're, I've invited the press, I've talked to the OC Business Journal, and OC Register, and the CEOs of you know these, some of these publications. And so I mean, for me, networking is you know giving people reason to be in the room, and getting the right people in the room, and actively going after them, and sometimes being the squeaky wheel that gets the oil in order to get that con that relationship. You know, uh, everyone's busy. You know, even if they're interested in what you're doing. Um, you know, they have a whole life and they might have a family and a kid and, you know, um, several businesses going on, a portfolio, so call them. You know, if you're trying to get, if you're trying to get to someone, whether it's a billionaire or a millionaire, and we'll get to this later, other tips, um, you know, call, I mean, obviously within reason, you know, don't, um, you know, get anyone super mad at you for you're following up too much, but you know what, be in their email, be in their text, call them. Especially if you're the right reasoning and the right product service. Like for us, I was reaching out to billionaires the other week, trying to invite them to the event. Yeah. And it was the right reason. It was like, listen, come join us on the top floor of the Balbo Bay Yacht Club, where you probably go any all the time, anyways. Yeah. You know, it's a free three-course meal and wine for you as a you know high-end investor. Um, and you're going to meet other investors that can invest into you, or you can syndicate with, or so you get to hear some awesome investment opportunities. The press is going to be there, and you get media opportunities. So it's have the right reason for the right person. So if you want to go after someone high end, you know, uh, do it. So I guess that was. I guess I took over three. So now we'll let you. Well, do I was going to say I'll do okay, four, okay, and I just four. think uh, something with networking and marketing in general, and you're you're doing it. You're doing it on a big level. You're creating events that are based on that, which is I think the best thing that you could do. With the with the you know, and the, I love it because it's like, who better network? I mean, I can have all sorts of different niches, you know, from realtors or this or that, but I've focused on. Investors, like yeah. the wealthiest people that are actively not only wealthy from one business, but they're like spilling over and trying to, right. you know, help, you know, especially it's cool when we're doing innovative companies and ed tech education companies and things that it's not just give us money or the, you know, companies that need capital. It's look, it, it, not only are you potentially going to make millions or billions off this idea, but it's for the right reason. So it's networking with a cause sometimes the best, not just, you know, especially if, if it's, disproportional where you're at and where you want to be and someone else is there well maybe ask them to be a mentor or, or you know right. don't maybe they're not ready to be your client or your partner but you know at least just tell them you look up to them and maybe that will you know they'll yeah oh, you yeah. know that definitely helps no, that definitely helps um, there's actually a, a local real estate developer his name is Bruce Elo I know this is a little off topic hmm. I don't know if this can help anybody but you know I was telling him because I really do look up to him and once I was telling him that it the whole vibe just changed Mm. You know, I just really don't feel like he would help me as much as if I was just, you know, just trying to get something from out of it. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. So, I think it's very important that you know you tell people that you look up to them and you're a big, they're a big inspiration to you because that could really help you grow yeah. whatever, wherever you're trying to get to. And this book in uh, so tip five now. I'll, that was tip four. I guess, right? That was four. Yeah. Yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good, good call there. I'm, you know, like potentially if you're someone's above you, you know, ask, let them, you know, put them in the right place to let them know that you look up to them and you like their advice and advisory potentially. You know, that, that's one way to pitch it potentially when you're in the kind of business world is, hey, I'd love to have you on our advisory board. Right. They're like, you're not asking for money. Maybe they have money, but okay. Right. I like it. Then, then well, why can't I be on the board of directors too? <laughs> well, I don't know. You got money? You want to buy some chairs? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm <laughs> um, so tip five. Um, the next thing, and that, uh, you know, Kish here. So we give him a little credit, a little aside here. So he actually owns a luxury watch company. He oh, tattoo time piece. They're actually really cool. We got carbon fiber, huge watch. They can find you where? Uh, www.tattoo-timepiece.com. And his Instagram is really cool. We got all sorts of cool pictures of you know him with the watch and, and sick cars behind like Lambos and Ferraris and you guys have a lot oh, of cool yeah, it's, cars it's, in your a, it's a whole lifestyle yeah whole lifestyle that's what it's about lifestyle businesses these days you know not just doing business to do business but you know making it right you know it's kind of that, that words kind of overblown these days Bethany Frankel actually even was talking about today on Shark Tank I love her <laughs> wifey <laughs> My I think she's taking that <laughs> sorry Bethany I love you though <laughs> she's an awesome entrepreneur I think she sold her company for like 200 million so she's wow. a she's a go-getter Feisty New Yorker, but um, tip five. Um, feisty New Yorker. Oh yeah. yeah. Speaking of you know, speaking feisty. of networking, you know, uh, you know he he has awesome opportunities. Your, his family and him own several restaurants locally here um, in Huntington Beach. You probably have danced at some of them, or eaten at some of them, luxury ones. Yeah. 
but he also, he's also in the auto world. Um, so kind of, uh, I guess, point three A slash point five right here is being in the right place. Uh, he was telling me about how when I've seen on some of his Facebook that he's been with Manny Cushman, one of the local real estate uh, billionaires of Orange County, just yeah, from many, being at the right car events, yeah. auto events, oh, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. So, you know, having FaceTime with some of these people um, where you have a common thread. You know, they have a mutual interest. They're not talking business. I mean, that it can elude or lead into that. Right. But, you're, you know, you're talking about your sick Mercedes and your guys' roles or whatever you guys have. And he's probably talking about his Mercy Lago or something. You guys can bond over uh, your guys' sick cars. Um, yeah, and they just, it can definitely And then it turns into something them. more. Yeah. But it starts with the friendship as the base. And that's, that's really Networking 101 right there. It's not, don't be just... What you want, what you want. Uh, really try to add value. Try yeah. to connect someone to someone first, or you know, introduce them to someone before you ask for something back. And eventually, it comes back to you. And sometimes it's tenfold. And sometimes it's not from that person, but you give to enough people, and you know, a venture capitalist invents so true. into 18 companies. Usually, that's their ratio. You get one winner. You know, they lose two, three, five million on a bunch of companies, but one company makes them 150 million, and the whole portfolio is worthwhile for that. So, um, give back and be at the right place. Um, I guess that's my tip five. Be at the right place again, right time, and uh, bond over common interests. You know, a lot of the investors and I, we found out, oh, we're both Eagle Scouts. Or, you know, his uh, investor and I, like, I'll be an Eagle Scout, and his son will be an Eagle Scout. You know, so I found things like Eagle Scout, or it can be I'm a drummer. Sometimes they're into music, or yeah. sometimes they like mountain biking. That's been a good one. Um, I, I love going mountain bike trails. So I'll, I'll talk to, like, CEOs of the hugest corporations, like, ever, and it'll be about mountain biking. And, it'll, and we'll all be like, you know, I'll pull out my phone, I'll show my app and be like, check out this 30 miler loop I do. I love it. It's through the mountains and back up Newport Coast and I'm passionate about it. And they're like, oh, they pull out, check out this loop I do back in, you know, Chicago or, you know, right. <laughs> wherever it is. Um, so basically what you're yeah, saying mutual is, interest. is, yeah, find people who, that you look up to and find mutual interest with them so you can grow from that and start a relationship. Mm -hmm. And you know, see where that goes. Asian. That's a good note. That's a good tip. That's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. It's a mutual interest for networking. Uh, six. Okay. So for tip number six, hmm, that's a good one. I definitely say don't be shy. Don't be afraid to go out there. And mm -hmm. that's a big part of networking because there's a lot of people. I'm I'm shy. I'm not a big talker, I'm not, you know, I'm, but I force myself to get out there and to do things that I usually wouldn't do because I know that it would be beneficial in the long run. Sometimes you know? even I'm shy, believe it or not, really, you know? That shocks me. So it can be, you know, so sometimes I'm, I respect like a certain leader or business person so much, I'm just like, I don't want to mess it up. That's true, yeah. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Or sometimes like it's when, you know, you're, you know, you're, so, you're out and about and you see someone really beautiful dude and you're like, oh, you know, uh, you know. Or like, I always mess something up. Like, I'll like, you know, I'm like, so I really like, I'm like, uh, like I'll, <laughs> I'm like my like white dream wifey. She's actually married now. I kind of lost the boat on that one. But like, you know, she, we got, you know, it's awesome uh, deal. She got us flown out for an event and stuff and freaking, I spilled on myself. I was like, oh my God, like right when, I was with my business partner. We, were, we got flown across the country for a big company. It was like, <laughs> anyways, um, I, I saw, someone saw, said a rule the other day. I've been thinking about it, repeating it, kind of thinking about it. I literally just say like, Three, two, one, go. And then, you know, uh, hope I didn't mess up our uh, focus on this, <laughs> jumping out of the camera here, but literally just count down, be like, three, two, one, and then just, or one, two, three, go. Yeah, just you know, and it. then just go, Put and just go do it. And, like, what's gonna happen? Like, think about all the upside of whether you're talking to that person business-wise, or, you know, or whatever it might be. And so what, they say no, or they don't like you, but it makes you feel better. And then, one of my favorite sayings is SOG, shots on goal. It's like hockey, they might shoot 100 pucks to get one in the goal, so, Shoot them, you know. Yeah, numbers. Yeah. It's a numbers game. It's like sales, marketing, networking. You know, I, I reach out to tons of billionaires, and, and sometimes one family or two will get back to you, or it takes a while, or you have to right. keep tapping them. Like in sales, they say it takes nine times of seeing your ad for it to be effective and stick. So, sure. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, this is not a tip, but I was gonna say for for, I have a, a waterless car wash business, and when I first started it. I've called hundreds of people, and not everybody said yes, you know. Um, but after I started to get locations, you get letter of recommendations, and then you, the next locations are just that much easier. But you have to do like like Josh was saying before. You have to just just start shooting those pucks. Just keep just just one two three go. Just and you get it. better. 
Yeah, you get You know, it. as you start shooting, you know, then you can slap shot it. And then you can, you know, veer around the obstacle or the come the objection. And then, nope, nope, poof, into the net. You know? And then next thing you know, you're dunking like you're King James. <laughs> you're just... King James? <laughs> Kobe lives around here. Oh, he used to love that padded coat, and I think he's in Newport. But. Newport coast. He yeah. has the same church as a lot of my uh, friends. Really? Kobe, yeah. Kobe's right here. Well, he's a client too for the uh, ticket business. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, yeah. He also is part of a ticket business. Like, uh, what's that? What's that called again? It's called At Your Request Tickets, and we specialize in concert, sports, and theater tickets. Um, we can basically get you the best deal, the best price, or or great advice on what you should get. And more importantly, people people really turn to them for their consulting. It's you yeah. know, when you need to take it somewhere and maybe everything's booked, you call them and, and they might know the event venue owners and they can be like, hey, you know, we know there's already, you know, a couple tickets reserved for uh, friends and family or staff and if they're not taken, you know, hook up our client, you know, we'll, we'll pay extra whatever we got to do to make it happen for our clients. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. You got that pretty much right on point. So I think we're at seven, right? Yeah, That's seven. Seven. Are we? Wow, that went fast. It's going fast, going fast. But, uh, so is it sevens for you, right? Or is that, is that like... Well, I think we've been kind we'll of like... We'll just like do a mutual, we'll do a mutual. Seven's a lucky number anyways. Here so, uh, uh, seven. Use online to your advantage. I'm gonna go into a little LinkedIn idea here. Okay. So, above and beyond just using LinkedIn, I, which I got tons of tips on. Um, Use LinkedIn Premium. I really recommend the Sales Navigator one, which is like 80 bucks a month if you're paying month to month. A little bit less if you do annual, it's like a thousand bucks or maybe seven, eight hundred bucks probably, I guess, if you're uh, doing an annual. Um, there's a free 30-day trial, but you can send in-mails well, to people cool. you're not connected with. Really? So, um, you know, that's uh, I reached out to some billionaires and other people, you can send in-mails. Um, you actually get, you get like 10 or 12 included in that package, maybe like 20 actually. And if someone responds to your in-mail, and they like it or they say yes or no, whatever, um, you actually get an in-mail credit back. If they decline, then you lose an in-mail. And sometimes you gotta that. sit on those and then put all your requests out, like me right now, where I'm like, I'm about to email some important people today, and they're in-mail, and I was like, oh, all my in-mails and credits are taken, so I gotta wait for some people to respond right now. But you know, at least I'm going over quality and quantity. You know, I'm re using my whole bucket, my whole queue, and go to the right people, but um, another thing on in-mail pre uh, LinkedIn Premium, um, once you're on LinkedIn Premium, you can enable what's called Open Link. Um, and on Open Link, um, basically, if people will designate their profile Open Link and you designate Open, even if you guys aren't connected, you can actually message them for free without using it in mail. So there's tons of, you know, investors or people in the press or media or potential clients, partners that we're reaching out to. Um, um, tons of investors we're reaching out to, and they're on Open Link, so it's not using a credit. So, you know, if you believe in what you're doing, you'd be amazed how many people I tell them, like, oh, I don't know, man, 80 bucks a month. I'm like, you're not a real CEO then, or you're not a real entrepreneur, or you're not, or there's different classes. I'm sorry, sometimes I get passionate, but you're, there's different classes of entrepreneurs. You know, yeah. are you trying to be a, worth a hundred million dollars? And eighty dollars shouldn't stop you from making powerful connections to either right. distributors for your business or something else. Like, then you just don't, you don't believe in your core. If eighty dollars is going to stop you, or if, if that's a budgetary issue, then there's some other issues you got to address first. Right, right. But go make that money, borrow that money, do what you got to do to pay eighty dollars to, or at least do the free three day trial, right? Yeah, it's basically just a really good there, investment. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, guys. You know, shoot. But that's I, I, I'm learning something new. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I'll so. tell you all day. I'll hook your stuff. I help. I, some of my investors come and sit down with me, and I, I mean, I professionally consult people too. 125, 125, 150 bucks an hour, out there. If you guys want some crazy uh, help, networking, and being genius on uh, social media. But um, so that was tip seven. Mine on LinkedIn. What what tips? You probably use LinkedIn a little. I LinkedIn use LinkedIn love. a little bit, but to be honest, I really use Instagram and Facebook much mm. more. Instagram more than anything. And they have, you know, now well, there's... Well, it's good brands, too. That's kind of a good focus, you know? Yeah, a lot. Everyone's Especially almost... Pull, that. and also, well, that's another thing, too, is, you know, who you're targeting when you're using social. So, right. LinkedIn may be more me for, like, a B2B, like business to business, whereas, right. you know, Instagram can be really good for also um, businesses targeting consumers. Yeah. You went for the car wash or your luxury yeah. watches or you guys' restaurants. Right. You know, consumers right. are on Instagram liking pictures and just endlessly going through stuff. So target them, whether through organic hashtags or uh, sponsored posts. Pay that money for an ad. Just right. well, walk over it properly. Especially when you're, when you're trying to market and get your product out there. If it's a product or a service, you know, that's... 
people can see that on social media. You know, they could actually see it and uh, they could share it and they could view it on another level, like rather than just kind of emailing or talking about it. Uh, it's LinkedIn. I mean, can you even post pictures on LinkedIn? Yeah, and videos. I've been uh, I've been really? uh, posting videos and it's kind of interesting. That's it's cool. Uh, some, it's, it's sometimes like uh, I always bring this up, like The Art of War. It's this famous book by like uh, this Chinese uh, uh, military guy, Sun Tzu. Probably saying it wrong. Sorry, guys. Um, but he always says, "Be where the, uh, thine enemy is not," and I love that phrase. I do that all day long. I'm like, oh, not many people are posting videos on LinkedIn, or at least they're not uploading their own videos. They're just linking to YouTube. I'm uploading my own videos, and things like that help you actually rank above other people. Where um, that's a, that's going to be my addendum to seven is you know um, I guess we're almost on like eight, but we'll, we'll call it seven. We'll, we'll keep going, guys. Wait, um, I thought we were going from sixteen down. Oh yeah. Oh what yeah. What are we doing? What now? are we doing? Oh man, good call. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna make this fun for you guys. We're gonna come down from sixteen to seven. No. <laughs> oh, did we? Okay. Well, I feel like well, we'll just keep going up on a Tuesday. Best of Thursday. Oh, not too. <laughs> okay, seriously though, um, is there anything else we're missing? I'm, I'm almost feeling like each tip that we gave, we gave like multiple tips in each. Well, know that's know why I mean? you got to call us if you want the full story. You know, this is just you know, high level, giving you guys some insight. You want to? It's like the brain scan, brain dump right here. It's like the samples at Costco. You know who to go like with. you just get a little sample. Yeah. You want the whole thing? You better, you better get it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. I get some more. I'll have three containers of it. <laughs> yeah. And when I say container, I mean like container ships. Like, right. <laughs> little, Coming from overseas. Yeah, I don't want no pallets. <laughs> I was bringing up to the other day. Okay, so tip eight. So um, we're doing networking and marketing, which is... Yeah. Cool but also networking in OC. Yeah, okay, so... So localized. Oh, oh, so, okay, since we're talking about Orange County in specific... So eight. I would say places like the Center Club across from Segerstrom Hall is a great place to network. Everybody who goes there, they have memberships because they're mostly into networking. Sure it's yeah, it's running. I had to make sure you were filming. We love you guys, you know. Don't want you to miss out there. Okay, Segerstrom Center, <laughs> which is, uh, I think, also sponsored by George Agros. Is it? Well, I reached out to his George Agros Jr., who I have several connections to. Come to my event next week. Okay, keep going. Sorry, hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, so the Center Club is a great place. It's basically made for people to network. Everyone who has a membership there goes there to network with other people. They have all these events, social events. Uh, sometimes you can bring guests, other, other you know, cool things like that, and uh, kind of just expand yourself. And I met a lot of cool people there. I met, you know, the, uh, the CEO of Nobleman Magazine. He was there. I met which, a lot you know, of I which, called them twice to come to our event as press. But I was, not the phone I was drinking a lot, of, yeah, you got, you got I was a lot of wine that, that night, so I didn't really remember that I met him. Uh, okay, well, find his car, find his car, get that CEO number. I don't, I don't want to call the general lab. But no, he's cool. We're, I, we're actually getting the tattoo timepiece in Nobleman Magazine, but nice. that has nothing to do with me meeting him. Um, but no, places like that are great. Or, or, you know, a lot of five-star resorts, wouldn't you say? There's a lot of people that are involved in businesses that go there. Mm, and yeah. you can kind of just hang out there for a day and kind of just across some people you know that's a good one is you know if you're gonna if you're gonna pay for somewhere make sure it's worthwhile like there's there's also places like like going to like a high-end gym like equinox right or like the renaissance Lifetime, Lisa, i love going yeah. there and i've like celebrity people renaissance there cool, and, yeah. and celebrity events and yeah that's you know there's uh, people are going to do high-end events at 24 hour fitness you know playing fitness like they not, maybe not as much as they would somewhere like renaissance where they know the clientele is gonna they're paying more for membership so they have more Disposable income, most likely, so they have more ability to pay for your product or service. And if you're trying, it, t time's money. So, you know, you can network to network, and you can, you can, you know, network with whoever you want, or you can network with the best. Right. But like so you said, time is money. So why? Do yeah. Things so you know, you know and sometimes, uh, maybe just at the end to eight. I don't want to make a whole tip about something negative, but sometimes you kind of got to draw a line sometimes. So, not, you know, as you get more and busy and more people are attracted to you, sometimes you just have to say no or just no one to, you know, everyone wants to reach out. Everyone wants to sit with you for coffee. And I've seen uh, people, some people like Dan Locke. Um, he has a book called FU Money. He talks about high ticket sales and other things. And sometimes uh, he has a good, he talks about just saying no to coffee or other things because 
It's just why, you know, it's, it's, are you going to be a client or are you just going to pick my brain for free? Um, what value am I getting outside of giving? So, you know, let people pre-qualify themselves. Once you're a client or a potential real partner or there's real value exchange, um, then it's not fair either sometimes, you know? So that comes back to no, maybe if they said they want you to be a mentor, but, think, you know, I, think it's not, I, I don't on, need shares it, of every company either. So. I think that depends on what level you're at. Like even yeah. Robert Kiyosaki, he's obviously very successful. The author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah, I've seen him. Speaking and he does great. multiple, especially local here in Irvine. Uh, he does all kinds of different events that are just for free. Mm -hmm. He's just giving advice. But yep. here's the thing, though. Also, I know this is off topic, but you could put somebody, you could put millions of people in a room and having the greatest people speak about something, but only very few people are going to actually have, get stuff stuck to them. You know, it's going to they're actually going to get it. Mm -hmm. Every a lot, most of those people just one ear out the other. And they're just not gonna get it. So you know, it's not def it's not for everybody, and I don't want to put anyone down, but like, the thing about this, like Shark Tank, right? See, like Mark Cuban or Lori, <laughs> wifey, other wifey, other wifey. Um, My other wifey. <laughs> I love them both. Um, There's so many wives. You should be. Uh, uh, no, no actual wife, but so many wannabe wives. <laughs> um, you know, it, you you know, you can go network with 15 people, and they won't be able to do for your business what one of those like sharks would, right? Or right. they know the key distributors. They know key investors, they can put money in themselves. We're just getting uh, windy today. It's nice though, it feels good, especially feels it's a little really warm. Good. It feels really it feels good, especially really he's good. in the suit here. Yeah. Got his little fly suit on. So, um, you know, not everyone's worthwhile networking with, and sometimes you just gotta actually say no or be polite, of course, it's not about being rude, like screw you. You know, you gotta be polite, but sometimes, you know, maybe not ignore them, but just be, listen, to, I don't think it's the best fit. But anyways, uh, Tip nine. nine. Tip nine, I would say Orange County Business Journal is a really good key to marketing. It doesn't matter if you have a service or product or whatever. The Orange County Business Journal is very cheap to subscribe to and it has all information for all of Orange County's top most successful people. Email addresses, phone numbers, uh, addresses to their building, their office, you know, it, very good stuff. I'm getting sprayed in the face right now yeah. with this thing. Woo. But um, <laughs> we get wet out here like. Uh, yeah, I actually talked to the CEO geez. of OC Business Journal today, but I don't even have a copy of OC Business Journal, so he actually promised he's gonna, well, I was, I'm gonna he's give, gonna give me a copy so very good. I can get no, some of that I'm information. Busy. Some of my buddies have been in there, so I you know, really want to be in there. I'm sitting down with, uh, one of them wants to sit down with me. I'm gonna be sitting down talking to a member of the OC Business Journal next week. Oh, um, nice. Once they're back from vacation, but yeah, they can't come. CEO and one of their uh, startup column editors, um, they both are out of town next week. Um, but I'm looking forward to talking to you guys both about uh, how the event went and Global Calp Network in general. So, anyways, that was nine, right? You were saying uh, uh, publications then, read, write publications, OC Register, OC Business Journal, um, yeah. and get direct access to some of these people. Um, oh, okay, ten. Uh, I bring this up in some of my marketing videos, but you know, it's good to have a little bit of cost over here. Um, you can export all of your data on Google, on Facebook, and LinkedIn. And you know, for example, even just on Facebook and LinkedIn, when you export your connections, it actually gives you their phone numbers and emails a lot of times. Oh. So you can go through, I actually download all of them, I upload in my own uh, online database, and I'm actually able to sil uh, filter and sort through it. I can say, show me all, uh, investors in Orange County, San Diego, and LA, you know, for me to invite to my event or for their phone number for me to call and personally follow up and tell them about some deals we got going on. Um, so be strategic with your social media and know the full value of it. You know, you're giving up a lot of privacy data, really. You guys are. Me too. Well, I post a lot. You know, be on the stuff. So get your value out. They're, you know, you're putting value in. They're advertising against your data. So at least extract what you can and make money off it yourself. You know, and it, I, if you're not entrepreneurial, I just, uh, you want to you know, impart some entrepreneurial you know, energy to everybody just because jobs are always, they call them just over broke and it's always a treadmill of you know, pay the least to keep people around. And you know, it's good for people to have a backup plan, especially in this day where people can be laid off and it's not about 30 year jobs and pensions. And, um, yeah, I quick, couldn't agree more with yeah, that. Yeah. Quick break, speaking of not working in the middle of the day, while we're working, but not you know in an office setting, I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful fountain and pool. Just one second. Wee! We got a beautiful fountain. 
park setting here. See, another reason to be entrepreneurial. <laughs> So, I guess we're on like 11. Okay, so, three, so. <laughs> so, okay, for 11, I would say, I almost feel we, we covered almost everything. <laughs> I no, say, there's, there's so much more to go. Then, then you get this one, I'll chime in if I, if I. Okay, if I okay, something. okay. So, um, literally look for, you know, lists or buy lists of the right people you want to target. Um, so many of my people, you know, when I, I invite people to do, you know, work with us or sell within their network or you're like, oh, I don't know anyone that does X or I don't know people or companies that do Y. Right. Then go find some. Yeah. Add some new ones to your pipeline. Like, I don't know everyone either. In fact, you know, a lot of people in everyone experiences. You go to high school or college with, you know, like a lot of them are just doing the same thing and this and that and you're trying to get to the next level, okay? Yeah. You don't do that by just talking to the same people, you, you know, you grew up with or you played football with you know, or something with you know so um, go online find lists of people in your area just kind of like oh he's talking about the publication but you know you can find lists or go on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn right and connect and add people that make sense for you to connect work and network with right um, another reason to have LinkedIn premium again um, even just viewing people's profiles on LinkedIn actually usually notifies them and they can add you back um, so that, that's one thing. There's actually a tool I bring up called searchisback.com. Searchisback.com. And that's where you can search for friends or non-friends on Facebook by their job title, location. Oh yeah, that's um, actually really, really cool. So I, I'm, I'm able to say, show me all non-friends who work at a company with you know ventures in it, as if a venture capital firm, right? Or with job title venture capitalist or general partner, limited partner, which is what it really is in VC firms, that's what they really call themselves, they're not. Venture capitalist, uh, you know, that's maybe on their Facebook title. Um, but it's usually a general partner, lead partner, you know. So you look for what, what you want, um, and you can say, you know, that or the people that went to Oxford, or Stanford, USC, Harvard, Notre Dame, you know, like top schools um, right. that also work at a company with securities, or ventures, or capital in the title. So that, and that's one, one uh, strategic way to line yourself and add new people and you know, friend them, and then you know you can they can see all of your posts and what you're doing, and you can see theirs, and you start to forge a relationship, and eventually that you've had touch points, and then you can go in for the close or be like, hey, come to my event, or you know, by the way, did I tell you about my company, or right. connect them to other people you know, maybe right. you can be a broker, you know, broker. So that was eleven. Numero twelve. Um. I Another point, another just, I guess this one will make a, a, some more ideas of right places, right times to be places. So we were talking about earlier about, you know, Kish here, Michael Kish, likes to go to these auto events and uh, there's high end, you know, people there. And, yeah, that's always good. And yeah, and you'd be surprised in the auto industry. A lot of investors like, this is one place uh, I, I actually was on uh, Super Bowl day. An investor literally retired like 30 super wealthy and he literally has this space in like Costa Mesa where he just bought a whole warehouse just for fun. Sticks all of his nice cars there yeah. for no purpose, not for business, has couches, yeah. foods, drinks, cool models, yeah. everything of like, you know, models of cars and stuff. Um, it's a fun house. And you just hang out and, and, and it's, you can bond over cars and that's basically how I was introduced to the place. Um, but you know, staying, like, sometimes I like to work at uh, high-end re resorts, you know, you never know who you're gonna meet. Right. Sometimes we meet people. Um, when we were prepping for the Balboa Bay Club event we're doing, we just, you know, went down to the cafe. The staff actually bought us some free meals, so that was nice. But there was a, a pretty girl, actually. So I was too shy to go up to her. And uh, my partner went up to her. And then uh, basically she ended up working at some high-end private equity firm. Oh. She actually ended up not being as cute as I thought. <laughs> she might see this. But she was boss, and I was like, wow. You're young and driven, and you know you're already part of a PR. I don't know if you, her firm or how that worked out, but it was part of a private equity firm, and so just being in the right place, and that's not you know, we meet all sorts of high-end people sometimes, just hanging out at a resort and have lunch there, or sometimes you don't even have to bring your laptop and sit down and go on the Wi-Fi. So yeah. just be in the right, be in resorts, communities. Um, you know, you can be at Mastros having fine dining, and you know, I have a bunch of business partners who do that, and they just eat at nice places, and they're known as the locals that come into these fine establishments all the time and people start, what are you doing? It's like, oh, yeah. I own this. They're like, oh, wow. Right, it's right. like all of a sudden, you know, you're connected. Basically go where the money is. 
right? Go where the money is. The resorts, Moolah, Mastros, all these places are, are basically five star, and you know the people that go to these things are usually business owners, and you know, or they might work for a business, and they might be high up in that business. But you know, you can make really good connections with those people. So definitely, uh, I would say. Yeah, be, if you're going to be an OC, you know, yeah. be in like Corona yeah. Del Mar or Newport Coast, Newport Beach, Irvine, I mean, even Santa Ana, Anaheim, there's still lots of business owners that are out there, it's just the real estate doesn't cost as much and there's not as much financial community, you know, so that's what you're going after, be where, you know, within OC where your community is, but if you're trying to go after the wealthy, that's some of our, some of our, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what I was going to say, definitely, definitely go where the money's at, you know, like you said, Corona Del Mar. Hang out at the bank. Right outside the bank. Wells Fargo, HSBC Global Bank, right next to a Starbucks. As soon as you <laughs> Why don't you just push your chair a little bit in front of the bank uh, next to Starbucks and take some calls and maybe someone will listen in and like what they hear. There you go. That was 12. We're almost there. I'm almost out of 13, time. I gotta go 13, on the radio 13, 13. soon here. 88.9. Oh yeah, that's on. gonna be a big deal. But I probably won't get this video on time for you guys to hear me on the radio from this, but. I'll post another video of me on the radio tonight. Yeah. As long as you listen to me, be at UCI, talk about my event, entrepreneurship. I'm actually going to stick his uh, logo. It's Youngry, Ash Kumra. Shout out in case you hear this. Shout out, Ash. It's uh, basically like his company's Youngry. It's called like Young and Hungry. So you combine Youngry. Young, yeah, I, like I love that. it, man. So I'm sticking up, stick the logo on the press wall I'm making. And um, so I'm really excited about that. So he's a badass in business. He was on like one of the first episodes of this. Uh, show with venture uh, capitalists from one of my favorite VC firms that are alleged to Tim Draper. Um, anyways, so that was tip 13 or did I already? Tip 13. Um, no, I think, <laughs> I think we're on tip 13 right now. Okay, we're on tip, we're on tip 13. Yeah, we're going to 16, right? We're going to 16, yeah. You can't stop 13, it's like unlucky, you know, so. Tip 13 is strategically add keywords to your profile so you can be found. Yes. Like LinkedIn, yes. I have all sorts of investor keywords and venture capital and I put it in my title and I put it in my description and put it in my different businesses. Um, Y'all might, you probably didn't know I do this, but I'll give you a little hint. So I actually, I have so many different companies I'm either part of or investor of or founder. I put all of the dates on LinkedIn as different, uh, like the anniversary dates of when I joined or when I left, whatever, right. um, where I'm still there, as different months. So it always looks like it's my work anniversary. So like almost every day, it's like, congratulations on your work anniversary, Josh. I'm like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Might be a little arbitrary. I mean, 16 years in business, I'm not really worried about my anniversaries of different companies anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, 13, yeah, use keywords, and that attracts people to you. So I have hundreds of people adding me and finding me from investors to clients and partners and associates from all over the world. All over the world. Because yeah. I use keywords and they find the Insta, they find the Facebook and I'm active too. So they find you and they see you post and you know, because they might, you know, there's algorithms. So you don't always see what other people are posting. They don't, people don't always see what you're posting. So you got to keep posting and eventually right. you hit the right word or keyword or time or phrase or location and well. it might click and they like it and all of a sudden they, you have a connection. That was keywords, and I could go into that for days. 14, we'll, we'll pump these out, guys. Thank you for hopping on, staying on this video. We know it's getting a little long for y'all. Probably like, oh. I was gonna say, so for 14, maybe yeah. this might apply for what you already said, but keywords like Google AdWords and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. Google AdWords is, is, I think, a really big one. Um, although, sometimes if you have, say, say you're just starting a watch company. Yeah, say you're just starting a watch company. <laughs> you, it's gonna be very hard to compete or to be on the top. Like, you know, say you type in luxury watch and, and Rolls, uh, Rolex comes up. I was gonna say Rolls Royce, but Rolex comes up or like Hublot or, you know, um, AP or anything like that. It's gonna be very hard to compete with those people because they're just so next level. Like, you can never even get on that level. Like, you have to spend, they spend millions of dollars in marketing. So don't get discouraged though, but just, I don't, yeah, you know, because you get what I'm saying? Because. Use advertising to your benefit, you know? I mean, yeah. it comes down to CPA, which is cost per acquisition. Yeah. So, you know, you, you might only be able to bid on like an hour a day worth of time to kill your own, your keyword on the search engines or whatever. And maybe the other companies, like Hublot, um, you know, are buying Hublot. it 24-7. <laughs> Hublot! <laughs> are buying 24-7, uh, you know, ad time on it. But um, don't get discouraged. Um, yeah, 24-7 ad time for sure. Yeah, you know, but, you know, and all, another thing too is you know make sure 
your you know your invent your ROI is there. For example, he has like five hundred to nine hundred dollar plus watches or so. So even if well, you spend plus. yeah nine hundred yeah exactly yeah. Um, Which but, is a big it's a big deal. But that means if you did spend you know one hundred and twenty dollars to acquire a customer like that meant took that many clicks, you'd still technically be profitable. Right. You know, minus your marketing spend, other spend that technically is marketing spend. You know, um, that's e-commerce. So yeah, definitely don't be scared. Like whether it's an event or something, you know, put out ads for it. Like um, you can literally target whoever you want. Whether it's like a certain type of entrepreneur, or a certain age group, people that only like certain pages, or maybe you want only go after married people that are very serious about about their career or have kids and they're stable probably and have a house or are likely to have a mortgage, right? Maybe people with a second house. You know, maybe people that are interested in magazines or something talking about second house. You're like, okay, they're an investor for sure at that point. By the time they're reading that or. It's people that are part of AARP, you know, probably maybe they're more focused on retirement if you're like a insurance type of guy, you know. So, um, you know, figure out who you're trying to market to and attack. <laughs> so 15. Oh, that was that was 14, huh? Oh, that's 14. Yeah. 15. Um, you know, try to always look good. Kitch is the really good example. He's always fly. He's always dressed really well. I could take a cue from him. Just, Always in the trenches, the entrepreneur just grinding. So I don't know. But that doesn't always like, matter. But well, I mean, when it's time, I dress right. But but you know, when you're going to be out there networking, at least at least then. Yeah, you want to look like money. Then right? you look like money. Yeah. 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 I would say, let's look out. Let's say look good. Yeah. Look look like money. That's even better. You know. Uh, dress Three. for success. That's dress what they say, for right? success. That's that's one way. Um, but that doesn't always always matter. I mean, it, I think it definitely makes you feel good, uh, and you could accomplish a lot more because you do. When you feel good, you, you you're going to execute a lot more. I think. Yeah, I'm all about visualizing and materializing too. So, you know, I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna do a tip 16. Tip 16, visualize and materialize. I can't tell you how many times in my life I've been like, man, I wanna work with this celebrity and all of a sudden like the next day, I'm like, they're my client or I did a site or a media marketing project for them. Same thing with, you know, whoever you're trying to network with on the highest level, like imagine yourself, um, you know, sitting with that person, talking business. Like I have a, I have three screens in my, uh, you know, home office here. and. Every three minutes, the pictures change, the different pictures. You know, yeah. from, from my Sprinter that I want, Mercedes Sprinter, I'm gonna make a mobile office for deals on wheels, you know, or I actually have a picture of this pool here because I love my community here. Um, pictures of homes I want, anything, but it's just always, I have vision boards that are vision permanent, boards. just right next yeah. to me too, so I'm always visualizing, and, and one of the pictures that changes out on my desktop is actually this, this picture, people don't always get who it is. It's uh, like this gray-haired guy sitting overlooking all these pools, and be like, oh, is that you when you're old, Josh? I'm like, no! That's Richard Branson, and that's me sitting right next to him, you know. And he's just awesome. He's you know making space companies, and he made record companies, and and uh, you know flight companies, even though some of them buy or acquire. Um, but you know, Conversion. material, Conversion. visualize, yeah. material. Yeah, they just got sold. Uh, materialize what you want, and just visualize yourself talking to that person, calling that person. It's actually funny in case you're watching. You know, I just watched some uh, Ty Lopez videos and. Um, like there was a video with him and Grant Cardone I was watching before bed the other day I was grinding until like 3 4 a.m. real hard work and uh, the next week I was actually with Ty Lopez and he uh, not only pulled up my website in front of a whole group of uh, people and investors That's um, awesome. I gave I let him critique it and then he gave me his phone number after and I'm you know calling and emailing him about our event to come next week and maybe have Ty speak I don't know but you know just literally this visualize people I mean if you want to sit and join the investor network sit visualize Josh Bois and yourself talking right here on camera. Maybe you'll be on Josh Bois TV. Reach out. Maybe even just I'll interview you just about what you're trying to do. Get back. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, this was Josh Boy TV and that was six tips. Six tips. Six Sixteen tips. Six <laughs> tips. Sixteen tips for networking in Orange County. Like a boss. Thank you guys. Out.